Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows installer is not working properly on your Windows 10 computer. So this will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well, but we're going to be on a Windows 10 machine here. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just off on the Start button one time. Type in services. Best match or one of the best matches should come back with services and it should only say services. If you select view local services, you could do that as well, but I would suggest just selecting the services option that comes up underneath best match. May not be the number one match, but you want to just select that from the list. And now you want to scroll down this list until you get to Windows Installer. We're going to go ahead and double click on it. And then you want to start the service. So left click on Start. And then left click on OK. So hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. Once that's done, click out of here. Now you want to go ahead and open up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in command prompt or CMD, whichever you prefer. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, there's going to be four commands in the description of the video. So the first two should say system32. You should run the first two commands if you're running a 32-bit system, so system32. And then run the syswow64 commands if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows. There's really no harm in running all four of them if you're running either a 32 or 64-bit version of Windows. It just won't run successfully, so just keep that in mind. So since I'm running a 32-bit version of Windows, I'm going to select the system32 one. So I'm going to go up to the top bar of my command prompt, right-click on it, left-click on right-click on the top bar, left-click on edit, and then left-click on paste to paste that command in. And then I'm going to run my second command that has system32 in it. So again, right click on the top part of the command prompt once you've copied it from my description. Left click on edit and then left click on paste on the next command here. So just for an example, if you were to go ahead and run the incorrect one. So let's say you're running a 32-bit version of Windows and you're going to go try and run the syswow64 one. You're going to go right click, edit, and then paste. It'll just come back with saying that the system cannot find the path specified. So if you're unsure, just feel free to run all four of them. There's really no harm in doing so, like I said. And once you're done doing them, you should be able to just close out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.